Thanks for talking to real.com. There you go. Real.com. Real.com. Yeah. Real.com or R E A L. Real as in let's keep it real. Oh, okay. Yeah. Talking about hangovers. Mm -hmm. What's your poison and what do you do the next day to cure the sore head? Uh, poison is uh, anything that's mind altering, uh, but uh, I'm a glue sniffer. I like to s sniff cocaine glue. mainly, but also vodka, gin, um, uh, scotch. I um, love mushrooms. Beer, wine, uh, champagne, uh, cognac. The whole, I like to do peyote, the whole wide range vanilla of extract, uh, mm. rubbing alcohol. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. What's the the weirdest thing you've kind of collected, or have you collected anything after a bachelor party? Well, you said the next day, what the hell is this and how do I get right, rid of it? Right, right, I would right. say panda balls. What are they? Testicles of a oh, panda. Oh, I see. Right, okay. Sorry, I thought it was a... No, 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 it's not. It's, just, it's kind of illegal in, in certain countries, but uh, they're beautiful, so I like to collect them. Detached from a panda? Of course. <laughs> oh, what a weird question that was. Why well, just... Uh, you think I just have pandas It just... <laughs> have a little window where the No, you're right, because it's so normal to just have the balls. Right. <laughs> it's weird. Okay. <laughs> I mean, Phil and Doug, uh, basically, what's their relationship? What, what's that? Phil and Doug. Phil and Doug. What's their relationship? Oh, very good Sexual friends. Or very, very good friends. Yeah, mm -hmm. and uh, it means a lot to Phil to take um, Doug to Vegas, you know, for this last hurrah. And uh, obviously... Uh, Losing him would be death to Phil, so um, he'll do everything he can to get him back. I think yeah. they probably saved each other's lives at one point uh, before the movie. That was the backstory that I came up with. It's good. It's good. How's the sunburn? And what uh, did you do in the interim whilst they were all out trying to find you? I, uh... Yeah, I'd I, like to know that, too. <laughs> I, um... I, I uh, laid by the pool a bit. Oh, in the movie, the character, he just kind of hung out. He tried to get out of the sun. It was a lot like, of screaming. Sure screaming, help! To, I wonder what what the sequence of events would have been. He had it probably because there was. Do you think a, at one point he tried to <clears throat> repel down the building? No, but I I do think at one point uh, there was a big picture of Donnie and Marie. You know Donnie and Marie mm -hmm. uh, who perform in Las Vegas, and that's kind of all you can see from that roof. So I'm sure he probably dug hallucinated and, and started, had, to, started talk. to talk to Donnie and Marie and maybe join in the and show. And what would they have said back? Um, uh. Hang Keep in. it to hang in there, <laughs> hang in there. That's great. He did like a whole thing. Yeah, like a whole, and then he would turn, and there'd be like a, a Danny Gans billboard, God rest his soul, and uh, he would maybe do some impressions with Danny. Hmm. Well, from one hurt to another. I mean, how long before you realized that Todd Phillips was joking, when he said that he was gonna zap you all with fifty thousand volts? Uh, I I'd argue he was never joking, <clears throat> and it was only because Warner Brothers said it was illegal that we didn't get tased. But you would have done otherwise, just for the hell of it, just to see how I would have, yeah. Feels. Yeah, I would yeah, have, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And I was going to say, who, who was more scary, the, the, one of the Tigers or Tyson to work with? <laughs> I've been waiting for this. <laughs> yeah, the Tiger. Good one. <laughs> so I, meant, I mentioned the magical word then, then. The two yeah. words. Mm -hmm. Shall I say it again? If you Tiger, sure. that was good. Well, I've been oh, <laughs> we could just carry on playing yeah, with could, that all the time, yeah. couldn't we? <laughs> it's completely thrown me there. If and when the big time comes, obviously your mates in real life, will you be relying on Bradley to provide some bachelor party entertainment? Uh, we're not we're not bachelor party guys. Yeah. Uh, so the four of us in the movie don't have any crazy stories, and uh, I I know that. Uh, I've been married and I didn't have a bachelor party, and that certainly if I uh, get married again or Justin gets married, I don't think we'll have a bachelor party. But uh, well, I, I do rely on Bradley for a lot of things in my real life, so uh, if I were to ever have a bachelor party, then yes. And you both got quite a connection to New York, so how does it feel to be in the American version of Paris, Je t'aime? Oh, phenomenal. Yeah. Uh, it was cool. <clears throat> I got to work with the Hughes brothers, which was great, and I got to work with Justin, so... Um, it was. It, it, it's always sort of magical shooting in New York. He just finished, finished the whole movie in New York. Uh, I've never had that pleasure, but um, I love being just being on the streets and filming it. It's kind of a dream, man. Don't you, wasn't it just? Yeah, sick? I love. I mean, for me, I, I've lived. I lived in New York for a long time, so I love kind of riding my bike to work. It's you know, it's a it's it's totally a, different environment. Isn't yeah, it? it's great. Yeah. And I heard that um, the director Todd Phillips was quite a hustler. 
Yeah. Yeah. He's did, a, he did, brought, he, did you lose a lot of money? No, he brought in about 50 the grand. Casino, this casino yeah, lost a lot of money. The casino lost a lot of money. Yeah. Yeah, the, the casino was uh, not happy. Oh, I like that. We're starting to personify the casino. And I, I gotta tell you, he he uh, he made so much money. He made so much money that at one point the cops came. There it is. <laughs> Brilliant. What a great sound! I hear that all the time in London. But anyway, very nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Yeah, very nice. Thank you. See you.